Hello, welcome to Hub City Now with Tyrone Tony Reed Jr. I'm your host, Tyrone Tony Reed Jr. I thank you for being here today, for giving me a chance to be your host. Um, and I just wanted to introduce myself to you so we can get to know one another. And so you will know who I am and what I'm about. Uh, I guess the best place to start is that I was born on June 6, 1982, which will be the day after this is out, is, comes on television. Um, I was born to um, Tyrone and, and Marjorie Reed. Those are my parents. Um, I was raised in Memphis, Tennessee. Um, had a good childhood. My parents believed in strong education and doing what's right. My dad's motto for life has been, if you do right, right will follow you. And I've always tried to live up to that. Um, as a child, I was really into superheroes and I still am. As you can see in this picture right here, I'm playing with my He-Man um, figures on my dad's car. Um, wearing a Batman shirt at Walt Disney World. And also had a Ninja Turtle cake with my favorite Ninja Turtle, Raphael. Um, as I grew older, I wanted to help my community and inform the world about what was going on with the struggles of other people. Um, one of my favorite superheroes was Superman, which you can see on my chain, um, and his alter ego, Clark Kent, who wrote for the Daily Planet. So I began looking for avenues in which I could write and let people know about the struggles um, that were going on around the city of Memphis. And my mother was able to find a new venture by the Commercial Appeal uh, called the Teen, um, Teen Panelists. And in that, I was able to write stories about uh, things that teenagers were concerned about, crime, uh, driving age, um, and as a big and tall man, um, how to find a big and tall, big, the right big and tall clothes for yourself, which was very hard when I was growing up. Now I do it all on the internet. Um, as I got older, um, I went to Whitehaven High School where I became part of a group called the Teen, Teen Appeal, which is a joint venture between the University of Memphis, um, the Commercial Appeal, and the Scripps Howard Foundation. And in that, uh, the teenagers from, um, from, ev from every high school in Memphis, Tennessee, would come together um, throughout the week to write stories and take photos and create their own citywide high school newspaper. Um, that was a privilege. I did that for three years. Um, as I transitioned from high school, I um, participated in two journalism, um, two journalism internships. One was called the Ida B. Wells program, which was hosted by the Tennessee State University in Nashville. Um, there, I received a leadership award because of uh, how I outlined my stories and how I helped uh, um, my fellow reporters get their stories done. The other um, journalism workshop was in Columbus, Missouri. And I also worked on the newspaper there. And not only did I work on the teen, teen uh, newspaper, I was also able to uh, have one of my stories featured in the city newspaper. Um, from there, I went to Franklin College in Indiana, where I majored in journalism, because I still wanted to write stories and let people know about what was going on in their world and how they could make a difference. And it wasn't about getting any notoriety or becoming famous. I just had a heart to help people. Um, that's something that my family stands for and they have always stood for. And that's something that through them and my love of superheroes that has continued to grow within me. Um, I graduated from Franklin College in 2004, um, worked at Sharp Manufacturing for a couple of years, uh, for, for about seven months, um, building microwave cavities, which was, I can't even begin to explain that to you. Um, from there, um, a professor who had worked with me during the teen, pa teen Appeal was able to make a contact with the Jackson Sun. Um, editor at that time was Dick Snyder. And Dick Snyder um, brought me in for a job interview, and I successfully was able to get hired there. Um, during four years there, I reported on crime. 
I went to crime marches. I saw, um, unfortunately, uh, people who have been killed, um, murder trials, the aftermath of tragedy. And it just wanted, made me want to be a, a better journalist. Um, to let people know what was going on in their world. Um, I feel that we all have to get involved. Um, no man is an island. Um, the, somebody else's problem is my problem because if I ignore it, it may be, become mine one day. And I will, I'll, I'll need somebody to help me. Um, we need to help each other. So after I was let go from the Tina Peel, I mean, for, not, I'm sorry, after I was let go from the Jackson Sun, I began to freelance. Um, I worked for the examiner.com, continuing to do crime stories about what was going on in Jackson, Tennessee. Um, I also added another um, beat called the Geek Examiner because, as I said before, I love comic books, I love superheroes, I love the superhero movies. Um, they just seem to be the rage these days, and it's a good, great time to be a comic book nerd. Um, so I was able to, I'm still doing those two things. And because of the Crime Examiner beat that I had with examiner.com, I was um, pursued by the West Tennessee Examiner to also do profile stories and crime stories for them, which I've been doing for the past couple of years. And that's um, Bill Marable as the publisher who gave me the opportunity to continue to see my work printed. Um, at, at, at examiner.com, it's all online, but I also get to see my work printed through the West Tennessee Examiner. Um, besides those things, um, I've also um, written several um, books and also written several short stories. Um, my first book that I wrote it's called Solat, Soldiers of Light Against Darkness. Um, it's the first book of the Angelo and Angeline Chronicles. It's a story about um, two young high school, two high school students in Memphis, Tennessee, who are transported to another world where um, demons have overrun the place. And they're told that they're the only two people who can save the world. Um, the reason why I wanted to do a story like that is because at the time, there weren't a lot of um, superheroes that I knew of, especially not from Memphis, that were African American. And I felt like um, kids who were my race needed someone to look up to. Um, in writing that book, uh, it hasn't just resonated with African Americans, but people from all races. And they've seen different stories and metaphors within those books that they can apply to their own lives. Um, from there, I did my second book, which is a continuation of the Solad series called um, Solad, It's Just the Beginning, Book Two of Angelo and Angeline Chronicles, um, in which the superheroes um, feel like they've um, successfully beat the Demon Master, who was the bad guy in the first book. But they come home and find out that their world is now overrun by demons, and they have to figure out what they're going to do about that. Um, it was important for me to show Memphis in these books because I love Memphis. It's my first home, and I believe in it as I believe in Jackson, Tennessee, and any other place in this world. Um, just because bad things happen in one place does not mean that the city is bad or that the people are bad. Um, there may be a bad element. There may be a problem that needs to be addressed. Um, but all in all, I believe that People are good, and people can be good and help one another. Um, I am a Christian, and I do believe that God works in mysterious ways and that God works through us to help others if we'll allow him to. Um, so that's something that I bring to the table also. I was a deacon, a junior deacon, when I was a, a young man. Um, I also was a Sunday school teacher for several years. So I've been used to educating people and talking to them and teaching them about um, different things. Um, I also wrote um, several short stories that have been featured and um, received honorable mentions and second place. Um, and I was also invited to work on an anthology called With Great Power, which is about the first uh, um, comic book to feature Spider-Man, which was amazing um, 
was Amazing Fantasy number 15. And in this book, it's about how one issue is passed from one person to another through generations and how the lessons of with great power comes great responsibility, which is the motto for Spider-Man, came to be and how it helped those people during the situations in their lives. I was also um, able to uh, enter into a contest with Main Street Publishing. Um, the first book um, that I entered in was uh, Enlightenment, where I wrote about um, this young woman named Crystal Harris, who was a detective in Memphis. Um, Crystal is different. Uh, she has crystals um, in place for her pupils, and she can see the past, present, and future. And she uses those abilities to say to, to solve crimes and um, fight bad guys in Memphis, Tennessee. Again, my love for Memphis. Um, and the other book um, was Awakenings, and I wrote about um, basically my a, a parody of my experience of being a journalist um, called. The story was called Feeding the Beast, about this young woman who learns that a demon is basically the reason why she has a job in the first place and that he thrives off of the pain of others by the news media. Um, so that was just something that I thought of doing. Um, I love writing because I believe that um, words are powerful and that words can change things. And we use them every day. Um, some of us don't use them for the right reasons or the right way, but we can use them for the right way. We can use them for the right reason. Um, the other thing, the, um, the most important thing is that I'm here on Hub City now to talk to you about how we can help each other and help make our community better. Um, I believe that we can work together and that it's our responsibility to take care of one another. Um, and in this show, I would like to talk to you about crime prevention, about how to stay healthy, about mentoring others, about how we can work together with the police and not against the police, and how we can work together um, and not against one another. Um, there are a lot of things um, in this world that can change if we would just come together. So I hope that Hub City now will be a place that we can do that together and, and make the future better for other people because we won't be here forever. Um, there are legacies that we should leave behind and I believe we can leave behind great legacies for our community. When we come back, um, I'd like to talk to you about how writing books opened the door for me to become a panelist at comic book conventions and also about some of the stories that I've covered throughout my years. There are many reasons why you should make Suits You your place for men's clothing. The absolute best in customer service, expert alterations, and more. I come for the quality. They have brand names and you just can't beat their prices. I like to be different and the selections are amazing. They have great looks and they're in my size. And I come for the styles. At Suits You, we really suit you. At Suits You, we really suit you. Hi, I'm Dr. Barry Cheney, Senior Pastor of New Life Prison Center. Cordially invite you to join me for Impact of the World Telecast on Bounce Television, JEA Channel 192, every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. Get ready to be impacted by the gospel. I have a word just for you. In a world obsessed with throwing shade and putting others down, there's a college boldly committed to doing the exact opposite. A college that understands you are not defined by your yesterdays, where dreams are rekindled and hope restored. A place of new beginnings, transformation, and honor. Where a Christian liberal arts education is more than a piece of paper. It's where you start your story all over again. Start your story and discover the new Lane College. There are many reasons why you should make Suits You your place for men's clothing. The absolute best in customer service, expert alterations, and more. I come for the quality. 
They have brand names and you just can't beat their prices. I like to be different and the selections are amazing. They have great looks and they're in my size. And I come for the styles. At Suit You, we really suit you. At Suit You, we really suit you. Hi, I'm Dr. Barry Cheney, Senior Pastor of New Life Prison Center. Cordially invite you to join me for Impact of the World Telecast on Bounce Television, JEA Channel 192, every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. Get ready to be impacted by the gospel. I have a word just for you. In a world obsessed with throwing shade and putting others down, there's a college boldly committed to doing the exact opposite. A college that understands you are not defined by your yesterdays, where dreams are rekindled and hope restored. A place of new beginnings, transformation, and honor. Where a Christian liberal arts education is more than a piece of paper. It's where you start your story all over again. Start your story and discover the new Lane College. Welcome back to Hub City Now. Um, well, as I said before, I'd like to tell you about how writing books end up opening the door for me to become a panelist for one of the biggest comic book conventions in the area, the Mid-South Comic Con. Um, for the past three years, I've had the honor and privilege of being a panelist where I talk f about anything from how a person can go from a zero to becoming a hero to how to give your characters um, personality and make them more realistic. Um, it's been a great, great venue for me uh, to meet people who've actually read my book and who've downloaded the book and who've shared it with other people. Um, and it's a great place of just community. Um, there's no one race. There are people who love comic books from all over the world who come every year in March. And I'm hoping to get there again next year. Um, but where there's fun, there's also seriousness. And in the past couple of years, I've covered major stories um, from crime, uh, for, from trials like the David Jordan trial, which was the T-Dot shooting that happened a couple of years ago, where I clocked in 70 hours of co coverage and just sitting in the courtroom, just listening to other people's story. Um, as I said before, everybody has a story and you never know um, where your life may go. Um, everybody has the opportunity to be a good person or a bad person just based on the way they handle a situation. And that's something that I think is important for all of us to learn. Um, we need to learn how to handle situations, how to respond the correct way. Um, throughout those many trials that I've um, written about, I've seen where people just made a mistake and while, where others made a mistake knowing that they were making a mistake but didn't care about other people. To me, that's been something that has troubled me. Um, as I said, I love superheroes and I care about people and I just don't understand why people would want to hurt one another. But through this show, I'd like for us to have a dialogue um, through, through our guests and also online on Facebook um, where you can visit Hub City Now and also um, Bounce TV. And you can tell me what you thought about the show, um, what topics you would like to hear, um, what other things um, are important to you, what other issues are your concern, and find out what kind of uh, situations we can um, come up with that can make things better. Um, if you would like to personally connect on Facebook and talk about, you know, what you see on the show or what you what topics you would like to talk about, you feel, can feel free to visit us at um, Hub City Now on Facebook and also Bounce TV Jackson on Facebook. And feel free to follow me on Facebook or Twitter, um, Tyrone Tony Reed Jr. on e either one of those. 
and also Instagram. Um, you can also purchase, uh, if you'd like to learn more about Solad and the Solad series that I'm, I'm currently writing, I'm writing, um, currently writing the third and fourth book in the series. You can um, visit Amazon.com or you can go to my Facebook page where there's a link to go to my personal author page. Um, I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to find out um, you know, what ideas you have, um, what issues do you have. Also, if you have any ideas for possible guests, um, people that you'd like to see, um, if you'd like to have the police chief on or a community activist, um, Johnny Dodd, Councilman Dodd is doing some pretty good things out there. Um, I've had the pleasure of doing crime marches with him and, and Ms. Charlene Mercer, who have been very instrumental in trying to curb the crime down in the community. Um, we, we're always looking for, you know, more information and how we can help one another. If you'd like to be a sponsor, just um, reach out to us on Facebook and we'll get that information in. Um, I just really want to let you all know that I appreciate you all tuning in and for giving me a chance. Um, this is a big, to me, this is a big responsibility. This is not um, just a lighthearted job. This is something that's important to me. Um, about changing the world and making the world a better place. Um, I want to thank my family. I want to thank my wife, um, Tawana. I want to thank my mother and my sister, uh, Marjorie and Tamika Reed. And I also want to dedicate this show to my father, Tyrone Reed, who didn't make it to see this. Uh, he passed away in 2014. But he always believed in me. He always told me that there's no such thing as can't that whatever you want to do, whatever you can believe that you can do and have faith in and persevere, you can do it. So this is for my father. This, is, this show is dedicated to my father, Tyrone Reed, who I miss. Um, but I just want to encourage you all. I just want to be here for you and be a voice to those who can't speak out. Um, I want this to be a show that you're involved in. Um, it's a, because it's not my show, it's your show. It's about community. It's about working together and doing great things because we can do those things together, and I believe in that. So I can't wait to see you again um, for our next show. Um, please spread the word. Please let everybody know um, where they can um, find this show and how they can watch it. And, and, and I guess I should give you the information. Um, you can watch this show on JEA Cable Channel 192 on Sundays at 7.30 a.m. Um, and then again at 9.30 a.m. And you can also find it on Wednesdays at 6 p.m. on Bounce TV. And there's one more place you can find me um, on Sundays at 6 a.m. for Community Focus on JJ 97.7. So again, thank you for this opportunity. I can't wait to talk more with you. Have a great day.
There are many reasons why you should make Suits You your place for men's clothing. The absolute best in customer service, expert alterations, and more. I come for the quality. They have brand names and you just can't beat their prices. I like to be different and the selections are amazing. They have great looks and they're in my size. And I come for the styles. At Suit You, we really suit you. At Suit You, we really suit you. Hi, I'm Dr. Barry Cheney, Senior Pastor of New Life Prison Center. Fortunately, I invite you to join me for Impact of the World Telecast on Bounce Television, JEA Channel 192, every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. Get ready to be impacted by the gospel. I have a word just for you. In a world obsessed with throwing shade and putting others down, there's a college boldly committed to doing the exact opposite. A college that understands you are not defined by your yesterdays, where dreams are rekindled and hope restored. A place of new beginnings, transformation, and honor. Where a Christian liberal arts education is more than a piece of paper. It's where you start your story all over again. Start your story and discover the new Lane College. There are many reasons why you should make Suits You your place for men's clothing. The absolute best in customer service, expert alterations, and more. I come for the quality. They have brand names and you just can't beat their prices. I like to be different and the selections are amazing. They have great looks and they're in my size. And I come for the styles. At Suits You, we really suit you. At Suits You, we really suit you. Hi, I'm Dr. Barry Cheney, Senior Pastor of New Life Prison Center. Fortunately, I invite you to join me for Impact of the World Telecast on Bounce Television, JEA Channel 192, every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. Get ready to be impacted by the gospel. I have a word just for you. In a world obsessed with throwing shade and putting others down, there's a college boldly committed to doing the exact opposite. A college that understands you are not defined by your yesterdays, where dreams are rekindled and hope restored. A place of new beginnings, transformation, and honor. Where a Christian liberal arts education is more than a piece of paper, it's where you start your story all over again. Start your story and discover the new Lane College. There are many reasons why you should make Suits You your place for men's clothing. The absolute best in customer service, expert alterations, and more. I come for the quality. They have brand names and you just can't beat their prices. I like to be different and the selections are amazing. They have great looks and they're in my size. And I come for the styles. At Suits You, we really suit you. At Suits You, we really suit you.